we need to add the room names to our sections. So we'll go down to our sections. And I have a lot of tabs open up here. I'm gonna close them all. And I'll start with FB1. We'll take a look at that and we're gonna add the names of the rooms. Okay, that one already has it. We did this one already, the garage. So let's go to FB2. And let's zoom in a little bit. Let's go to annotate tag all and we'll go to room tags and we'll say apply and every room that we have labeled will automatically get their name into it uh, into the space well, maybe we should pull these down a little bit but Revit if we haven't named the room then Revit's not going to uh, label the, the room. That should come down a little bit. We got these little arrows here, we can grab them. Everything else looks good. We'll go to FB3. And the same thing, annotate, tag all. What do you mean, which all do you want? Well, I want room tags, that's all I want. Apply, and we'll say okay. And why didn't we get any room tags here? Are they turned off? That's a possibility. Uh, VG, it should be an annotation category. It, uh, room tags are turned on, okay. <clears throat> we have rooms here, so let's try it again. Annotate, tag all, room tags, apply. There we go. So now let's, these are, I'm not sure why these are up a little bit too high, I think. That's because I've got the height of the, see, look how tall I have the uh, heights of the rooms here. They're way too tall. Um, they should really be down here. <clears throat> but Revit was centering it in the height of that room there, but that's okay. Annotate. Tag all, room tags, apply. Say okay. Um, there we go. The rooms are tagged. And again, this is, this should be down here. All right. FB5 will be the last front to back. Uh, this one looks good. I've already dragged it down. And in the previous section because it's cutting through the same room again. Annotate, tag all, room tags, apply. Okay. Now, why under why it didn't tag this room? Again, look at I've got these the heights of the room set to too tall. Let's see. Tag all. Room tags, apply. I don't know why it didn't tag it before, but we fixed it. <clears throat> now we'll go to the side to sides, SS1. Look at, I already had dimensions in here too, so I didn't notice that before. I'll take those out. Because we just need them in one spot. We don't need to be uh, redundant. Annotate, tag all, room tags. So it's going to find all the room tags and, and tag them. Looks good. Section two. And again, I have some extra dimensions in there. I didn't notice before. Let's annotate, tag all. What room tags? Apply. Okay. This one. We'll just drag it down. Well, you can see that the height of that is too tall. Uh, all right. Got all our rooms in there. Maybe we would move this over a little bit so it's more visible, legible. SS3. Again, I have the dimensions in there. We'll take them out. 
annotate, tag all, room tags, apply. Okay. So let's pull these down. You see that I just have the height of this too tall. So I would have centered it on that. Let's see if we can grab this guy and pull him down just a little bit so it's more legible. So if someone's looking at a particular room and they want to know what's going on in there, well then they'll know what the name of the room is and they'll be able to refer to it in another area. Or the opposite might be true. They might be looking at a floor plan and want to see what it looks like in the section. And now we have our, our rooms uh, labeled. And a couple more to go. Robert's doing most of the heavy lifting here. It's pretty simple. Annotate, tag all. Room tags, apply, OK. And again, we'll just drag these down a little bit. See, this should really have them down here. And again, we have more dimensions that we don't need. We have all of our dimensions over here, which explain how they're heights are and we wouldn't dimension the location of the walls here we would do that in the floor plan now one left we have the annotate tag tab tag all room tags apply okay and there we go drag this guy down just a little bit if we were calculating volumes uh, of the spaces then it's very important that we have the upper limit of that space properly identified. Save it. Now, if we go just out of curiosity, let's go take a look at one of the sections on the sheets because we've made everything look really good here. We'll just, let's, we have in Revit now, you can say, just show me the sheet. So we click here and I'll only see the sheets. We'll go to any section, section four is fine. And now look at that, it's starting to look really good. We have more information that we would want to put onto our, our sections, but this is a, a good little baby steps, every, every uh, incremental improvements to our uh, plans. And it's got 